Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Bongi and I'll just be talking to you about my journey as a young mother. So today I have a special guest. Yes, 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 as you can see here. <laughs> She's cute, isn't she? So this is my baby, baby Yo-Yo. That's what I call her, but Yo-Yo is short for Yonela. She is turning two months in a couple of days and yeah i just wanted to introduce her to everybody since i talk about her basically this is this is the person that i talk about the most in this channel and yeah the challenges that i've faced with her so far or our journey together as mother and daughter right right <laughs> yeah so i just fed her she's a bit tired i'm gonna keep it short because i don't think she'll be up very long I'm, I'm gonna have to put her to bed very soon but yeah this is her this is my 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 little princess the person that i've been speaking about and telling you all these nice stories about and yeah so baby yoya was born on about two months ago she when she was born she was like 2.770 kg so she wasn't a big baby which is expected because I'm, I'm very small and petite in in size so yeah i didn't give birth to a very huge baby so yeah she's that's what she weighed when she was born she's now about four to five kg because the last time we weighed her she was like six weeks old which was like about two or three weeks ago when she went for her six weeks vaccination um, she was run about 4.5 kg. So I'm thinking now she's about like 5 kg or I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure. I haven't weighed her as yet. But yeah, the last time we weighed her she was like 4.5, which is good. Pretty good. Compliments to the chef, which is me with the boob juice, you know. <laughs> so my boob juice is way is working very well for her. Um yeah, so <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at that word. Uh, I heard it at some some vlog. I decided to call milk breast milk boob juice boob juice, and you know, I've I've been calling it that ever since. But otherwise, uh, Yoya is not a very fussy child. Um, she was fussy at the beginning, like the first two weeks. Oh my god! Like if you go through my vlogs, I'll talk about like I was so shocked. I like yo. This is this really what my life has become because she was she cried so much but I think she was just like small and fragile and obviously they're not used to the world they're not used to wearing clothes they were like you know naked in the womb they're not used to light and they're not used to sound so I think everything sometimes just becomes too much for them and then they become so frustrated and start crying and but now she's like she's like she's got this she's used to this she's used to the light she's used to to everything in fact i think now she's just like trying to figure this world thing out and she's quite she's kind of like enjoying some of the things mm, don't cry don't cry baby the only thing is that she doesn't like doing like the same thing for a long time like right now i can tell that she's getting very irritated i'm sorry baby She's getting very irritated with me. Oh. And I'm going to have to put her to bed and continue this vlog. So I'm just going to pause this vlog and I'll come back and just put her to bed. Okay, I'm back guys. Um, sorry, I just needed to put a pacifier on her. She just sleeps better when she has that. So yeah, I'm trying to get her to sleep now. But yeah, like as I was saying... Uh, yeah, Yonela is not a very fussy baby. She only basically wakes up when she either needs a nappy change or she needs to eat or she just sometimes wants to be held. That's just how babies are sometimes. They just want to be to be held and to feel warm. So yeah, other than that, she's usually sleeping. She's still very young. Um, most of the time she's, 80% of the time she's literally sleeping. So yeah, she's not very fussy. But yeah, when she is up, she she is getting a bit of a personality <laughs> and you can see her smiling here and there or you can see her looking around, looking for, looking around the room or when she sees like something bright, she'll stare at that bright thing for like a while or when she when she's sleeping she'll you'll see like when she's sleeping on her stomach because sometimes I put her on her stomach just to get a bit of tummy time. 
um, she'll still be picking up her head looking around and looking to see I don't know what she's looking at but yeah she's she's growing I think she's just trying to figure out everything and you know make sense of of this world we live in so yeah she's she's been quite a joy so far um, the only thing uh, we've had in terms of health issues, we've, we haven't had any health issues. Thank God we've been blessed with a very healthy baby girl. The only thing that we, 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 only issue that we've had was with her skin. So between the, between four to six weeks, she started getting a bit of, um, they call it baby acne, but it looks like eczema where she got like, a rash all over her face her face was red and when you touched her skin it was like hard because it was it had like a lot of rash and a lot of like pink spots um when we went to her pediatrician we found out that it was actually baby acne that she had and that it's very common within babies that are about four to six weeks old so yeah it lasted for about two weeks but then it completely cleared off and now she's like smooth uh, as a baby's bum, <laughs> if I can say so. So yeah, we, we were really blessed to have some a child that doesn't have any health issues like so far. It's been smooth, smooth sailing with her. And in terms of sleeping routines, um, I, I personally feel like it's too young to sleep train her so um, what we do to kind of like help her sleep longer through the night or to sleep at night we bath her later on the day like for example when um, when she when she she first arrived or when she we first came back from the hospital I seek a lot of advice from my mother because purely because like of course she's had kids before she's done this with three kids um, and she used to uh, insist on bathing her during the day simply because it's warmer and the sun is out and it's just yeah warmer for the baby to bath when the temperature is a bit high but when I went to my doctor my doctor actually suggested that if we want to get her to sleep during the night we bath her later on so what I do I bath her at like 7 p.m. Um, at night and it's it actually works wonders because uh, water gets them tired so I massage her gently massage her and um, wash her take give her a bath and then after that obviously I feed her and she by the time I feed her she's already woozy and sleepy and she just eats and falls falls asleep immediately like it it really works wonders and it works for me so i would su I suggest that for new mothers who are trying to get their little infants to go to bed just try and bath them later on the night and you'll see they'll they, they pretty much fall asleep as soon as they're done um bathing or feeding and another thing is during the night also um just so um she goes back to sleep immediately when she wakes up, I change her nappy quickly and then I put her back on my boob, she starts feeding and she falls back immediately back to sleep. And yeah, that obviously helps us sleep better during the night, Sleep it helps her because then she just she doesn't stay awake longer, she just eats and then falls back asleep. I mean, or falls back to sleep and then yeah, that, that just works better for me and I suggest other young mothers do it like that. Just change the nappy as soon as she wakes up and then end, end everything off by feeding her and then the, she'll, he or she will, will then fall asleep easily that way. So yeah, um, that's basically it. If you guys have any more questions or things that you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. Please comment. And I've been getting a lot of comments. Thank you so much. And a lot of uh, messages in my inbox on Facebook, on Instagram. I really appreciate that. And yeah, I'll keep the videos coming. Uh, if you haven't subscribed as yet, please subscribe, share and like if you really like my content. And thank you so much. Um, Till next time. Bye.